In this video series on management of intumescent cataract, we previously discussed the technique of minirexis. Now, we will demonstrate the use of a small can opener followed by a normal sized rexis. After making the incision and side coat, staining of the anterior lens capsule is done with Trifin glue. Make sure that the capsule is fully and properly stained. In both techniques, after keratome injury, anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastics such as HPMC so as to allow the liquefied cortex to come out, which won't happen if one uses high density viscoelastics. With the help of a cystitome, multiple nicks are made in the central 3mm zone of the capsule. The milky fluid is expressed by gently tapping on the nucleus and by pressing the lower lip of the tunnel. Then, anterior chamber is formed with a high density viscoelastics such as viscoat or orocoat to counter the intralenticular pressure and to relax the zonules. With the help of rexus forceps, one of the flaps is held and a rexus of 5.5 to 6 mm is initiated and completed. Now, surgery proceeds with routine steps of paper emulsification.